Hey, Adam, what's going on? What do you mean? I'm just fine dining, man. Uh, only joking. I uh, actually just got out of surgery. Bit of a weird one. Um, about two days ago, started getting a sore stomach. Um, Jay, my coach, the man behind the lens right now, actually asked me where it was. I hadn't even considered it, but it was like down in the right uh, area of my stomach. He was like, that's not ideal, could be your appendix. Turns out, was my appendix, had a scan. The doctors like felt around a little bit. Uh, it hadn't burst, but it was like pretty, pretty bad. Um, so literally I went to the doctors for the first time this morning and it's now tonight. Uh, and they, yeah, took out my appendix. So, um, probably won't be running for a little while, but, uh, whatever this video ends up being, I will be filming some races, whether it's conference or whether it's eventually a workout, uh, stay tuned. Cause like, I'm, I'm going to be getting back involved with running. Obviously I'm not like done with running. I'm just going to have a little bit of recovery and, um, I've got some food to enjoy. I've got an Oreo milkshake right here. Um, I'm living the high life right now. Speaking of the high life, I was so high coming out of surgery. Um, it was kind of fun to be honest, but uh, now I'm, I'm coming back down. I'm pretty tired. I'm looking forward to having some food, getting a good sleep in, recovering, and I'll be back running soon. So stay tuned. Fog with the fog dog, straight to the top with the pace drop. Pace too hot, you can't keep up when he heats up and takes the lead. Now all you see is Drake University. So it's time to subscribe for the best alive and go stride for stride with the Batman pride. It's Ed and Fog coming at you with the top dog exclusive. It's Ed and Fog exclusive. All right, before this video begins, uh, I just want to say it's been a pretty weird, wild roller coaster few days. Um, this is a re upload of the Drake Relays video. Uh, I got out of surgery. I'm three days out of surgery right now, as you'll have just seen. I have my appendix removed. Not ideal. I'm probably out for the rest of the NCAA season, um, but there'll be more updates to follow in the coming days and weeks I guess. Um, we're out at the track today, it's absolutely boiling. I've come out just to kind of get out of the apartment and hopefully we're going to be filming a workout with the boys which will come out in another few days. Uh, but the other night I was recovering from my surgery and I got an email to say that Runner Space had given me a copyright strike for using their race footage. Um, as you know if you're a loyal viewer of the Fog Dog exclusive, uh, race footage is something that really helps improve the videos um, and I've never had a problem with having a copyright strike before where the video gets completely removed from YouTube. Uh, I tried to fix the issue and it didn't work so this is a re-upload. If you've already watched it I fully understand if you don't want to go through and watch it again but if you haven't seen it uh, I hope you'll enjoy the video even though there's a severe lack of race footage now that I know that I'm not allowed to use uh, the proper race footage. So thank you for being on here and yeah, I hope you enjoy the video even though there's a bit of a lack of race footage. We are just over one, just over 24 hours removed from uh, Drake Relays 1500, the seated section, which is a stacked field. We have a uh, one 43 800 meter guy we have other NCAA qualifiers in the mile it's just a, it's a great field we have it lined up to go through 800 meters at 156 um, and right now it, it's looking like it should be a little bit more dry than we thought earlier in the week um, and we're hoping the wind isn't too bad regardless of what the conditions are though it's a, it's an amazing field and it's a great great awesome opportunity um, and this is it's just something to celebrate the first relays back since first full relays back since 2020 um, this year there aren't any restrictions we have more than even the normal collegiate teams here it's uh, it, it, it's a lot of fun I know it's Adam and Isaac's first 
real relays where the food trucks are out and the fans are are going to be there um and it's uh, it, it's something to celebrate it's a it's going to be a lot of fun um and then uh after that cools down we get ready to try and win uh what might be one of the best dmrs ever uh this is a moment i've been waiting for for a long time and it's a lot of fun even more fun having uh the fog family in town and uh it's it's just it's just a great moment. Just finished strides. We're one day out of the Drake. Oh, that start over. <laughs> that and, that Take even, two. <laughs> what was I even saying there? We're one day out here. Just did some strides at the Tiger Field. Uh, one, one day away from <laughs> one day away from the relays, 1500. Uh, Foggy and I are just going out there for a crack at a quicker time. Hopefully something in the 336s or the 326s, we'll see. But uh, just finished strides, like it felt good. We just did like 30 minute jog, like just the usual day before stuff. But yeah, we're feeling good. Tomorrow's the day and get ready. All right, Adam, how we feeling one day out? Feeling good, baby, uh, ready to go. Had a, had a good little jog and a few strides just down here, as Bastin said, at uh, Tiger Field, one of the most uh, well-known high school tracks in Des Moines. Uh, Lovely spot. Feeling good for tomorrow. It's meant to be a little bit windy, but hopefully that'll die down. Uh, Des Moines, yeah, at Drake especially, it can get pretty windy, but um, I mean, we train on that track a couple of times a week. We run on it every day, basically. So it's nothing we're not used to. Uh, it's nothing we can't deal with. Just hopefully it'll die down so that we can run quick. Um, 156 to 800, that's the plan. Uh, and then hopefully we can keep it rolling after that. Um, try and run something quick and try and finish right up at the top of the field. So. Um, should be good, strong field out there tomorrow. Um, big Drake relays and then DMR on Saturday as well. So big day tomorrow, uh, 1500. Hopefully will be a good one. And then we come back Saturday midday uh, for the distance medley relay. Should be good. Iowa's in the field. We've got Spencer Lund of Simpson, Preston Central Calhoun. How you doing, Fog Dog? Race day, baby. Uh, feeling good. Had a little shake out this morning. Strava in right here. Give us a ball on Strava if you're not already. Um, little 10 minute shake out this morning. Just get the legs moving. Uh, feeling good. Uh, hopefully it'll be a quick one. As I was saying yesterday, the plan is 156 through 800. And then, yeah, hopefully it'll be a really good race after that. And hopefully I can finish right up at the top of the field and run something quick. That's the plan. That's the goal. Right now, I'm wearing my brand new t-shirt from the Trackstar and Fog Dog collab. These only came out a few days ago. If you saw the last video, you probably already know. Uh, these only, yeah, came out a few days ago. They've been selling like hotcakes. There's only a few left and they're not available forever. So if you want to cop one, it's Trackstar and Fog Dog, the first ever collab. Uh, head to the link in the description and use the code FOG20 and you'll get a discount. As I said, not available forever and there's only a few left. So if you haven't, get your hands on one now while they're still available and you can be repping the Trackstar Fog Dog bat. Just gonna chill out now. Got plenty of time to relax and get ready for big race tonight. Um, yeah, feeling good, looking forward to it. Should be a good one. Baston, race day baby. A uh, little bit rainy, a little bit windy out there. Uh, how we going, how we feeling? Oh, we're, we're already, we already got the pre-race nerves. It's like still an hour and 40 minutes beforehand, but man, I always just get like this four races. You know, just like anxious, the little jitters, but I mean, I'm excited too. It should be fun to get a race in front of the home crowd. And I mean, whatever happens, happens. We already got that regional time, so there's not like too much pressure on us today, but it's just another opportunity to like go out there, have fun, have a crack, and like see what we can do. So I'm excited. Hopefully the times are fast. Hopefully the conditions aren't too bad, but I guess we'll find out. And Zahafi of Texas Tech. Run 143, 689 for 800. Zahafi and Fong. Right, Bastion. Morning after the race. Um, morning of the DMR. How you feeling with last night and how you feeling for today? Uh, I don't like. I feel good about it. It was last night was fun. Like, just 
Hey, Drake, relay, baby. Yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, so just got out in like upper middle of the pack, like around fifth-ish, like early, and I didn't honestly, I didn't honestly feel that great. Like looking at the clock after each lap, I was like, for what pace we're running, like my legs really don't feel that good. But um, I kind of just like hung in there, and with a lap to go, it was me, Fog, and this. Texas Tech 143 guy and I was like oh man I'm in trouble if this guy's got the foot speed left in him but um grinded it out got it done in the last hundred and I mean it was a super fun some great photos great memories like doing it in front of the home crowd but now today is going to be terrible like <laughs> to be honest my legs feel really bad so we're gonna we're just gonna see how this DMR goes take it by ear hopefully it's just like fun but We'll see what happens. I'm not like too worried about the time or the place, but yeah, it'll be a good training day, I guess. <laughs> go front dog! Two laps to go. Birmingham McCoy and Williamson have the bar now at 190, six two and three quarters. Go on and on! <laughs> South Dakota State, Iowa, is running Max Murphy to full Pleasant Valley prep. Go on, Isaac! And it's Missouri. And And here's your leader. They're going to be the champions of the Jim Wheelock Distance Medley Relay, picking up 10 a relay cup points. The Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Followed by Michigan. And Iowa. Iowa got an outstanding anchor there for Murphy. All right, all finish up with a pretty big weekend in the Drake Relays. Obviously, 1,500 last night, and then DMR, 1,200 leg for me today. Uh, before I talk a bit about them, we got to give a big shout out to Josette Norris. There she is on the poster. Uh, Robbie Andrews, 2016 US Olympian. Uh, her fiance and Josette, uh, who's really running pretty well right now. I think they're both Fog Dog fans. Uh, she's on the Drake Relays poster right here. Um, obviously wasn't at Drake Relays this year, sadly, but hopefully one day she'll be back. Um, thank you, Robbie and Josette, for being Fog Dog fans. Harry Menko, fresh out of Australia. Uh, second year, I think, at St. Louis. Yeah. Here for the Drake Relays. What, what you been up to this weekend? How you been going? Just been hanging around, watching my boy Toby run a cheeky 14, 10, 5K. Watching Fog Dog and Bastin rip it up. Um, last night you know just enjoying the experience ran a couple relays myself you know just ticking them over toby gillen uh first year at st louis yeah fresh out of australia uh how you going 14 11 this 14 weekend. 11 i think it was yeah 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 it's a shitty race that's for sure <laughs> it was uh strung out you know just too fast for like my liking at the start and then yeah i just got I just ate shit, really, in the middle of the race. And then, yeah, it was tough to come back home. But yeah, it's been sick, 16 Des Moines and what it has to offer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, conference next, just 5k that or? Nah, 10k, 5k double. Oh, nice one. Yeah, it's gonna be slow though, so it'll be lovely. Interesting, a big kick down, that's for sure. Let's go. Yeah, boys. Uh, all right, now we're walking home. Uh, uh, sorry, I was just checking the mic. Uh, yeah, big, big weekend, 1500 last night and then DMR 1200 today, obviously. Um, yeah, the 1500, I was not too happy with. Like, I really tried to have a crack and get after it. Um, there was some weird stuff going on with the pacing. Um, like, I, the paces did a pretty good job overall, but um, it just kind of worked out a little bit weirdly with Aziz right in front of me. Um, he, he was feeling pretty tired from his steeple the night before and he, he dropped out, uh, leaving a bit of a gap. I then tried to close it and uh, yeah, ended up a little bit tired uh, with two laps to go. So 341, uh, big shout out to Baston for the win. That was, that was a huge run. Um, and yeah, we'll be back for regionals in the 1500 in almost a month. So we've got time to reset, refocus and get ready for that. Um, DMR 1200 today, I just wanted to relax and try and enjoy it and hand off in the lead um, and I did all of those things. I, I was jogging early, I wanted to tuck in, I didn't want to be leading into the wind early um, so I let it be slow, um, just kind of relaxed and then really went for it with about 500 to go, didn't really look back um, and yeah, handed off in the lead so solid, solid couple of days, um, we're gonna, yeah, Reset now, got a couple of weeks till conference. Um, yeah, should be a good one. Uh, Mother Fog Dog Senior and I are on our way back to the UK today. Um, we fly kind of lunchtime today. We've been here for very nearly two weeks in Des Moines and it has been a wonderful trip. We obviously were here for the Drake relays and managed to get in there for each of the three days. It's a real highlight of um, our time in Des Moines. It's clearly a big event for the university, a big event for the city and um, we were really uh, pleased to be able to be here, see some great athletics, uh, enjoyed Adam's work on the track, Fog Dog out there doing his thing, um, didn't quite pay off in the 1500 this time, he did a lot of work, it was a very blustery day, uh, got caught before the end, better run perhaps in the uh, DMR the following morning where he led at the end of the first leg. That was good, really enjoyed it. Um, now, he'll be graduating soon, obviously. Um, this is the end of his final year. So we're looking forward to the next chapter and whatever that may bring. Um, more of that to follow in future videos, undoubtedly.